friends. Happy Saturday. It's December 4th. Happy haul vlog day four. Four days in a row. Look at me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you're having the best Saturday that's available to you. If you're working, I hope your day goes quickly and with as little stress as humanly possible. Um, if you're not working, I hope you have great plans um, to do something relaxing and good for yourself. Um, so yeah. Um, and uh, and I hope you're I hope you'll enjoy this little video. Um, me and my hair are having a day today, so like <laughs> I've been fussing with it and I can't get it to do what I want it to do. It's one of those days where I really just want to cut it all off, right? I don't normally talk about my hair, but my hair is just, it's, it's doing its own thing today and now we're out of focus. Okay, let's come back in. Okay, so hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Saturday. Uh, let's see. What is going on today? What observances and holidays do we have for December 4th? Um, first and foremost, Wildlife Conservation Day. Um, so do something to save some wildlife today. Um, it is also um, Coats and Toys for Kids Day. Um, but don't donate to the Salvation Army. Uh, find a different way to donate coats and toys. Um, and if you're not sure why, do some research on the Salvation Army. Um, I have some friends that could tell you some stories. Uh, they're not nearly as good as you might think they would be. So, um, so yeah, not Salvation Army. Find another way. I don't know why I keep messing with my hair. Part of it is because it's down and I never wear it down. Okay, I'm going to stop. I promise. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, Coats and Toys for Kids Day, National Cookie Day, and it is also uh, Santa's List Day. Um, I guess that's the day that you mail out your list for Santa. Um, and lastly, World Pear Day. Because I guess if an apple pie can have a day, a pear can have its own day too. Why not, right? Okay, um, also we're on the sixth day of Hanukkah. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not good at counting days. Um, I actually, <laughs> quick story, quick side story. Um, I actually did inventory as a job. I was an inventory person. Um, for three or four months and I kept getting sent home early because I couldn't count fast enough, just FYI. I didn't realize at the time that not only was I dealing with some ADHD issues, um, but probably also some dyslexia issues. So yeah, counting, not so much. So I do count a cross stitch for a hobby. <laughs> mm. Okay, so let me tell y'all, I'm drinking that um, that McDonald's McCafe coffee and it's it's better than I expected it to be. It smelled really good when I brewed it this morning too. So, okay, before we get into tiny presents, uh, 25, 24 and 25 tiny presents, um, let's talk about what I got in the mail yesterday that I'm super excited about, because apparently this is gonna be a daily thing. <laughs> um, I got my Mysticulous Get Stitch Done Planner for 2022. So um, I saw, um, I, I first heard about this and saw it on um, Michelle's uh, channel over at Betty Stitchy and I was super jealous when she started showing hers off and I think she got it like mid-January last year um, but by the time she got hers and was talking about it on the channel um, it was too late to get the hardback edition um, the um, and I've forgotten her name already um, the wonderful lady that puts these together she uh, only had the digital version available at that time pardon I'm trying to hiccup so she only had the digital version and I know from um, personal experience um, or my, I know from my previous experience for me um, that digital planners are not so great for me um, I don't do well with them I could print it out but um, I think at the time I didn't have access to easy access to a decent printer um, and I didn't want to print the whole thing out so I did not purchase it last year but as soon as it was available for pre-order this year I did purchase it and I'm very very excited um, so I'm hoping that this is gonna help me keep um, I mean, I've been, I've been okay about staying on track with my stitching this year, but part of it is I feel like I don't have a good place to put all of my um, stitchy plans and um, progress and thoughts and ideas for projects and all that sort of stuff. I don't have a, a place for all of that, and that's what this will be for. So let me show you some of the, the spreads, because you can still purchase this. Um, I am fairly certain that you can still purchase the hardback, at least until sometime in January but she's going to have the digital version available all year um, because that's how it was last year um, and if you're outside of the u.s the digital version is going to be your best bet because this is heavy um, so we have we have monthly spreads um, that shows you the entire month all at one shot um, 
let's see and I'll try to be quick about this because it's meant to be a quick video and I should have shown you so it's got the whole year as well so you can look at the entire year all at one shot hello focus focus so you can see the entire year you can look at a month at a time and then there are weeklies as well and there's plenty of space to draw scribble add you know additional notes all that kind of stuff it's got um, a gratitude corner which I think is fantastic um, I really need to get back to um, to doing something like I used to do I used to do this thing that I called five good things and it was a daily gratitude thing um, at the end of every day I would write down five good things that I had experienced that had happened to me that um, that just five things that were good about that day and it's actually um, if you do some research, it's actually um, a cognitive behavioral therapy, therapy technique. Um, it helps you refocus your mind on positive things that are happening in your life. Um, and not only does it help you recognize more positive things, but it actually, um, it's also one of those sort of like um, self-actualizing things where if you're more focused on being thankful for the things that are happening and noticing the good things that are happening in your life, the positive things, you actually draw more of that into your life. Part of it is because you're just noticing it more, but part of it is because you're also putting that positivity back out into the universe. And it's, you know, so it's a scientific thing, but also kind of a metaphysical thing, uh, depending on how you like to believe or what you what you believe in and that kind of thing. Um, I like to think of it both ways. It's a scientific good thing for you, but it's also, you know, putting good out into the universe is, is always um, a positive thing, in my opinion. Um, so I love the fact that there's a gratitude corner so I can make this a weekly practice um, and get myself back into that habit. Um, it's so good for your mental health. It is so incredibly good for your mental health. And focusing on gratitude and positive things um, actually really helps you and now my hair is getting caught in my watch. Um, it really helps you um, with your self-talk as well. And um, dealing with your self-talk and making sure, I should have put my hair in ponytail, um, making sure that your self-talk, and that's when you, when you talk to yourself, when you say things to yourself, making sure that your self-talk is positive is very, very, very important. Because if you're constantly saying things in your head, even though it's just you to yourself, if you're constantly saying, I can't do this, I don't have the ability, I don't have the power, I can't, I can't figure this out. If you're constantly saying negative things about yourself, it really drags down your entire personhood. I mean, it drags down your mood, it drags down your, um, your ability to, to stay out of depression and things like that. But if you are focusing on good, positive self-talk, like, um, it's essentially like talking to yourself the way you would talk to somebody that you care about. So if you fail at something or if you if you miss a goal, if you don't quite achieve a thing that you meant to achieve, um, you know, if your child or somebody that you care about does the same thing, would you be nasty to them? And would you say, well, you just didn't try hard enough. You have to do better next time. That's not how you would talk to them. You would, what you would say is, it's okay. You, there's always next time or what can we work on together to help you achieve that better in the future? You know, what, what can I help you with? Uh, what goals can we look at? That kind of thing. You would be much more positive to somebody that you care about who's outside of yourself. So it's important that you, you use that kind of talk on yourself as much as you do on other people. Um, and I think I've talked about that before, but it's, it's so, so important. Um, anyway, digression, <laughs> major digression. <laughs> Bottom line is be nice to yourself. Treat yourself nicely. You deserve it. You're worth being treated nicely. Um, anyway, gratitude corner. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after all of the calendar stuff, let me put this over here because otherwise I'm going to let me get my hair out of my, it's hot in here now too. So that's fun. <clears throat> Everything just goes off the rails on the weekend. Have you noticed that? <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, after all the weekly planning, we have this whole big spread for project ideas so every time I go ooh that'd be an awesome idea I can write it down <laughs> so I have it saved somewhere so this is a place for all those hashtags that we brainstorm together um, all the random things that I think about like oh that would be a really great pattern or I really want to buy that chart at some point I'm not gonna buy it right now but I want to stitch it at some point you know all that kind of stuff and then we've got all these project planning pages I can hold it for you now I'm not gonna sketch all of the things. Um, I might sketch if I was if I was actually planning um, 
a design that I was going to make. I might actually sketch that out here, though chances are I would just get some graph paper and I would glue it in later. But like if I'm going to, uh, if I want to put all of my whips in here, I could just do a photocopy of the, the cover image and that kind of stuff. And it's got places to put the title, the type of pattern, all the different details about the stuff that you're using. And there's lots and lots of these pages, lots and lots and lots. Um, which for me is probably going to be um, is going to be enough for all of my current whips with room to grow. Um, for some folks, maybe not so much. <laughs> maybe that's only enough for the stuff that you start in 2022. But for me, I think it'll work for everything. And then we've got all kinds of other pages in the back. We've got contacts, hashtag lists. Um, so that's another place specifically for hashtags. I'm definitely going to have to put some tabbies in here. Um, wish list, friends and family interests, um, holidays, and this has got all kinds of holidays on it. So we've got Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Indigenous Peoples Day, Diwali, uh, which as it turns out happens much earlier in the year than I thought it was. For some reason I thought it was a winter holiday. It turns out it's more of an autumn holiday. Um, I just learned that this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got, um, I can't pronounce this, I'm not good at, at Muslim holiday names, uh, it's Eid al-Adha. Um, we've also got Kwanzaa, Boxing Day, Passover, um, so yeah, Eid, Eid al-Fitur, Fitur, Fitur? I really apologize if I'm butchering that. Ramadan, I know Ramadan. <laughs> Cesar Chavez Day. Um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch there and then you can write in extra holidays. So if some of these holidays that I'm mentioning are things that you want to remember for the future, you could write that down right there. And then there's all these pages. Um, oh, special birthdays, special events, all that kind of stuff. Notes, lots of note pages and stuff in the back. And some of the note pages are lined and some of them are dotted. So you have all kinds of, of places and ways to record things and write things down. So I'm very, very, very excited. That was probably way more of an overview than you really wanted. But you know what? It's awesome. It's awesome. And I really, I really like to support um, BIPOC owned businesses. And this particular woman, I wish I could remember her name. I just saw it and I've already forgotten it. Um, I just saw it right before I got on here. But um, she's a fabulous woman because she's very, um, she's very active in the crafting community. And she's really active with um, uplifting other business owners not not just people of color but um business crafty business owners of all types and i think that's fantastic she's she works a lot to try to help um small businesses get themselves seen and um get connected and you know put themselves out on social media and it's really awesome so she's a very uplifting person i think it's fantastic so that is the super fun thing for today um or the mail from yesterday i should say <laughs> Mm. Sip of coffee, deep breath, recenter. Let's get back to it. So, shall we open some food and then some tiny presents? Should we do it? Should we? I'm waiting like you're, I'm actually going to be able to hear you. Anyway, let's do it. We got coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. So, um, let's see what day four has in store for us today. Um, I can't read the numbers now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Day four. Okay, it's a donut shop coffee. Donut shop. Vowels are our friends. What is this? Red velvet latte. It's something different. It's something I've never had before. One step red velvet latte. Oh, that's going to be interesting. See, this is the kind of stuff I thought we were going to get. Not just like, here's a medium, a medium uh, roast coffee. <laughs> so this apparently is going to make some kind of latte it says one step latte i am really anxious to see how that's going to work i might have to film that for you and cut it in on the next video we'll see we'll see but yeah so that's um so that is december 4th we got a, a red velvet latte i'm excited for that i'm probably more excited than i should be okay and now let's do our our mosher roth mosher roth Ah, here's number four. So here's our nutcracker for the day. And he's cute. His eyes are kind of like skewed sideways. Over there. What kind of chocolate have we got today? Is this the same one? No, he's... Oh, okay, he has a black fuzzy hat. Yesterday's had a, uh, a red sort of crown looking hat. 
it's a piece of square dark chocolate <laughs> okay so that's that's what we got today let's see what that is that is mousse with nougat chocolate i don't know what that means nougat chocolate you know i feel like there's a lot of different definitions for nougat <laughs> i don't know exactly what nougat is let's see <laughs> chocolate everywhere Okay, that really just looks like caramel. Mmm, it's good though. Look how thick that chocolate is. Can you see? Mmm. It's a nice dark chocolate though. I definitely like the dark chocolate compared to the white chocolate. White chocolate's not my fave. Okay. You know the drill. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> I have to say, starting with that little piece of chocolate every day is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. so good so good okay so let's open tiny presents should we stick with the same order i feel like we should stick with the same order that way anybody who is trying not to get spoiled doesn't get spoiled right because everything's in the same order so day four i keep wanting to say october 4th it is not october um, though part of me wishes we could go back to October, right? I mean, this the last couple of months have just gone by so quickly. Okay, so day four. It's teeny tiny. That is probably beads. <laughs> when it's teeny tiny, it usually means, or at least in my very limited experience, that means that it's a, um, it's a bead pack. It's thwarting me. Okay. Wait. Why is it so difficult? Okay. Oh, it's not a bee pack. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where is it? It is the teeny it's the teeniest, tiniest little um snowflake charm. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that. If the camera will focus on that. Hello camera. Okay. Okay. Maybe if I put my hand behind it. There we go. It's so teeny tiny, so tiny. But that will look really nice on um, a scissor fob or a zipper pull or something like that. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I guess I'll keep it in the bag. I'm a little afraid to keep it in the bag because I'm afraid I might accidentally throw the bag away. <laughs> it's so tiny though. I guess I will have to keep it in the bag and just hope and pray that I don't <laughs> accidentally throw that away. <laughs> Um, oh, it's sterling silver. Wow. Okay. A fancy sterling silver snowflake. Perfect for a special project or a special gift. Wow. I didn't expect that to be sterling silver. That's fancy. That is fancy. So I'll have to put that on something very, very special and definitely make sure that I don't accidentally toss this little package. Um, in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to tuck it in this pair of scissors or tuck the package in this pair of scissors. That way I will be significantly less likely to do something bad. Because <laughs> I we know that I'm not gonna get rid of these scissors, right? Yeah, we know that from yesterday. <laughs> Five minutes extolling the virtues of the scissors. Um, okay. <laughs> it would seem that I have an obsession with scissors, perhaps. Okay, let's move on to Fangirl Fibers. Um, so this is Winter and Stars Hollow, day four. Let's see what beautiful yarn we have today. Ooh, look at this. Okay, there's the card, okay. Look, wow. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, focus please. There we go. That's so gorgeous. Okay, let's see what episode this is a reference to. <laughs> What's a rune? <laughs> Season one, episode 12. Do you remember who rune is? <laughs> I totally do. <laughs> um, so rune, I believe is Jackson's brother or cousin um, who was completely rude and annoying. <laughs> What's a rune? That's awesome. Okay, so that is Fangirl Fibers. And now let's do Asylum Fibers over the rainbow. 
and I have to find, I'm definitely gonna have to find something different to do um, instead of just hanging these out. Cause as you see, once we get past day six, it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Shove them back in there, okay. <laughs> so those are the first three days and now we have day four. More red. I kind of thought the colors would um, would fade a little bit more um, or less gradually, I should say. Um, but because this looks this looks really a lot like ruby slippers. Um, no, okay, I can see that you can't see it on camera so much. On camera, they look very, very, very similar. But in person, this actually has more. Um, I guess. Heiko, would you say this has, well, you can't, the color's not great. I think Heiko would say this has more yellow. <laughs> Heiko is like my resident um, color expert. She's always, she's the one who like sees all the layers of the colors and she's like, oh, this purple has more red in it or that that color has more red or blue in it or whatever. Um, I, I'm not so good. But because this is a warmer, browner kind of red, I would say that it has maybe more yellow in it. Um, but it's more of a bricky, bricky brown kind of red, and it's got dark, like much darker streaks in it, um, even though it does look on camera very similar to <clears throat> yesterday's. But it is a different color, I promise. So this is, you don't want any of those apples. <laughs> Not those apples. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so there are yarns for today. These actually would go really nicely together. That would be fantastic. A little bit of sparkle. Yeah, okay. Not not necessarily gonna do that, but they would go well together. This is a squishier yarn. <laughs> okay, folks, that's what I've got for you today. Um, hopefully, um, I, had, I had really hoped that yesterday there would be a floss too, but I got so, so busy with work. Um, I had a plan and um, as is typical, when you have a plan, everybody else just does everything they can to screw up your plan. I mean, I don't know if that happens to you at work, but that certainly happens to me. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this and this and this and this, and then by this time I'll be able to, you know, go off and do some other things. Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> My day got completely turned up on its head. It was not fun. I was I was not impressed, um, but I got it done. Made it through. Um, I just didn't get, I didn't get a floss tube. Um, so hopefully this weekend, floss tube fingers crossed. Um, at the very least, you will you will have hollow vlogs. I will make sure you have hollow vlogs. Hopefully there will be a floss too. Um, I don't have a ton of stitching to, t to talk to y'all about, but I do have lots of knitting. I've been doing knitting almost exclusively for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I don't know if it's because it's been chilly and it's really easy and comfortable to sit in my chair with the cats all curled up with me and knit. Um, but that just has been my happy place lately. So but I have stuff to show you. I have stuff to talk to you about. So soon, soon, I promise. Um, <laughs> let me actually take a sip. I think half the time I just hold my cup and I don't actually take the sip and then I put it down because I'm talking. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have had a good time with me. I, have, I always have a good time with y'all. So, um, oh, last thing, since I may or may not get a floss tube up, uh, Sunday, this Sunday, December 5th, yes, tomorrow, <laughs> this Sunday, <laughs> um, it's the first Sunday of the month. So um, the Trans Cross Stitchers group, um, which is headed up by D of D's 20 Stitches and also, um, Sebastian of B's and T's uh, stitching. Um, that group we will be meeting on Zoom on Sunday. Uh, we usually do it at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Um, if you are not part of the Facebook group and you want to be, uh, message either uh, B's and T's stitching on Instagram or uh, D's 20 stitches on Instagram and they can get you into the Facebook group. Um, but the uh, the Zoom is open to any stitcher who identifies as anything under the trans umbrella. So if you're trans, if you identify as non-binary, as gender non-conforming, any of any of the umbrella uh, folks, you are more than welcome to join us for the Zoom. And like I said, that'll be 9 a.m. Pacific, noon, noon Eastern <laughs> on Sunday. And um, 
if you don't want to do the Facebook group, uh, you can either message me or um, you can message the these 20 stitches on Instagram to get the Zoom link to join us. Uh, but please, this is it is meant to be a safe space for trans and trans umbrella stitchers. Um, so we love our cis friends. We love our cis allies. Um, but but this is a trans space. So just you know, disrespect that. But um, or please respect that. It sounded like I said disrespect that. So please respect that. But um, anybody who identifies, even if you're gender questioning, it's all good. Um, just message one of us and we will make sure you get the link. So um, that really is it for now. Um, 25 minutes, I'll let you go. <laughs> Please have the best day that is available to you. Be good to yourself. Um, be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. And I will see you again tomorrow.